Hi there, Warriors, and welcome to a new video of the Uruguayan Heroes YouTube channel. Today, we will continue our series, which focuses on the next stars of Uruguayan football. In this series, I profile 10 players aged 23 or under, who I believe can be the, the next poster boys of Uruguayan football. In the first episode, we discussed Agustin Alvarez Martinez, the Peñarol number nine. And now it's time for Ronald Arajo, who is, without a doubt, Uruguay's most promising defender at this moment. He had a breakthrough season for Barcelona last season uh, under Ronald Koeman. Uh, he got some big chances. And if it wasn't for his injury, he would have probably got some more. He played 33 appearances in all competitions. And he wasn't dribbled past once, uh, which he is the only player in all top five European leagues who achieved this. And, well, uh, it shows what a, what a, well, what a quick, strong and, and sharp defender he is upstairs because... You can be quick, you can be strong. These, phys these physical qualities are really good to have, but many defenders have this. But what sets him apart, Arajo, is that he is uh, tactically uh, very mature and he's really switched on in here. Uh, so, yeah, uh, he has all the tools to be a really good and complete defender who can be a star uh, for Barcelona and hopefully for Uruguay. So let's start at the beginning uh, of the life of Arajo before going into some highlights. Arajo was born in Rivera, uh, which is a city in the northern region of Uruguay. It's, it's the border town between Uruguay and Brazil. Um, and in this city, he played for a local club, uh, Huracan, uh, the Rivera. Um, he, this is a club he really loves. Uh, in his mate order, or on his mate order, you see the crest or the logo of uh, this club. Um, and yeah, it shows that he that he has great love, has great love for this uh, this team. In his youth, um, he played for this team, but moving on, he also played for some uh, Uruguayan teams, some professional teams, Rentistas and Boston River. Um, when you talk or when you hear when you hear coaches of the, of these teams about him, they always talk about him being a humble guy, um, always willing to learn. Um, yeah, really professionalist, uh, professionalism really high. Um, even as a young young kid, you know, uh, as, as a 14, 15 year old, when when these things maybe are not at the maximum level you would expect, but for him this was not the case. Uh, so they already all they all um, they are all really high praise uh, for him. Um, besides his qualities, because his qualities they also say uh, they were clear to see, um, but. The attitude is what sets what sets him apart, according to them. Also, his leadership um, and his, his his bravery in, in taking um, some moments like penalties or some big moments in games where he stood up to the plate, even at a young age. And yeah, when you move on, um, he got signed by uh, Barcelona uh, from Boston River. Uh, which was a surprise for me at the time. I remember it. I know he was uh, uh, one of the uh, captains of the Uruguay on a 20 team. Um, so I knew about him, but I did not expect that Barcelona, a club like Barcelona, would uh, have taken such an interest in him. But to be honest, uh, Barca weren't the only one. Real Madrid and Getafe also were in for him. But he chose for uh, Barcelona and was signed for 1.7 million. The deal could rise up to five, six millions in variables uh, eventually. But yeah, the matter of the fact is that he is now worth um, probably 50 million, million euros in the current market, if not more. Um, and for Barcelona, he started in the Barcelona B team and, well, he just keep developing, developing. Uh, he was already a really good defender because, yeah, it's simply what he is. Uh, but in Barcelona, he really is really developing his uh, his game on the ground, his passing game, and you can see this is developing really well. Um, so yeah, and in the last season, his breakthrough came. He made his debut in the twenty or the nineteen twenty season, but the twenty twenty one season, which was last season, he made his breakthrough. Uh, people really started to notice this this guy, this talent, and. Uh, for many people, he was Barcelona's best defender in the uh, last campaign. He was had some he had some injuries, which uh, made sure or which uh, which unfortunately uh, um, um, was the reason why he didn't play all the games or not as many as he wanted. 
but he still played 33 appearances in all competitions. So yeah, uh, Ronald Koeman, the manager, has taken uh, a liking liking to him. Uh, and yeah, at this at this current rate, it's 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 uh, it's it's scary to see because he's developing so well, uh, and there's so much more to come from him still, in my opinion. The only thing which is a worry, and I mentioned it uh, a couple of moments before, is his injury record. Uh, this season, he had quite some injuries, also one during the Copa America. So let's hope it won't be something that is consistent and that, that will maintain. But we will see. Um, so yeah, Arajo, big talent. Uh, Uruguay have some real big talent in attacking positions. But to be honest, defensively, with the likes of Arajo, Bruno Mendes, who I really like, fullbacks like Oliveira, Finia, but also Jimenez, who's still 26. We also have some great talents in the back line. So let's look at some highlights. It's an eight-minute video. I'm not sure if I'm going to go through all of it, um, but it's let's just some, see some clips, and I will do my talking uh, not too much because obviously we want to enjoy the video. But yeah, let's go. There we are. So strong, extremely strong in, 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 in the direct duel. And he always covers down or uh, closes down players really quick and really well. This is another thing. His recovery speed is incredible. He's so he's so quick. Uh, I think he was even recorded as being one of the quickest players in La Liga. And the one he was chasing in this clip before was Alexander Isak, uh, the Swedish striker, who is one of the quickest players in La Liga as well. So his speed is such a weapon because when you play for a team like Barcelona, who play with a really high line, um, there's always uh, one or two attacks in the game where the opponent gets in behind the back line. And then it's up to the defenders to to yeah to sort this out, basically. But when you have a player like Arajo, similar like Kyle Walker, you know, plays sometimes in the back three for uh, for England. You've got a player who is so, is so quick who can recover it easily, basically. So it's a really big quality for Arajo, for me, in my opinion. And he, he rarely commits fouls as well. That's, that's also the stats of this last season shows that he's rarely committing any foul because he's, he's a good defender, a uh, comp defender. He's not a cynical defender. Uh, and he doesn't need to be because he's strong and quick enough to, to sort problems out. Not one of the quickest and strongest attackers in La Liga, Inaki Williams, and he just sorts him out uh, like he's some kind of ball boy. So amazing. And then there's this this side of Arajo, the side of his striker. You know, being a striker as a youth player, it's at sometimes he wasn't like a fixed striker, but he used to play there sometimes, and it was a great goal, obviously. He also is a really big threat in corners, you know, with his headers and he scored some goals. Also had some big chances, which he missed. But, uh, I mean, his presence in the box, in both boxes, you know, defensively and in the tech, is a real big weapon for Barcelona and for Uruguay.
and in the air. Um, Araujo was also one of the best uh, defenders in La Liga uh, because he, he's, besides being tall, he's 1.91 uh, uh, centimeters. Um, so he's one of the uh, he's a tall guy, but he also has quite a big leap, you know, uh, like a basketball player. He's jump, he jumps quite, he jumps very high, and yeah, he's yeah, he's he's airily uh, in the air. He's quite quite good, yeah. This was an example of a pass he gave, and I mean there are there are times when he, when he misplaces pass. Obviously, he's not maybe uh, Gerard Pique, but he's improved massively in this aspect. And if you look at where he came from in these couple of years uh, and where he is now in terms of his passing game, uh, it's really promising. Um, yeah. And obviously, this is a video which focuses on the, on the good stuff of Arajo. And I mean, I don't really have a lot of things of last season where I think of, well, this was bad. Because simply, it was really good. One of the moments I can remember was the goal of Karim Benzema in the, in the Clasico. When he just, when Benzema just came in front of Arajo and, and scored the goal, which opened the score in the, in, in the Clasico. So this is a moment where he should already Araujo would think of that, yeah, this can't happen again. Uh, so, yeah, concentration is also, is always a, is a thing that, that certainly young players um, don't have at 100%. I think he is really good. He's, he's at a high level of concentration, but can always improve. Having said that, Mensima is a top striker, so things like that can obviously happen. But it's certainly one of the points that Araujo can improve on, yeah. Other than that, for me, he's a quite he's a quite a complete uh, defender. He's quick, he's tall, he's strong. In the air, he's really good. Uh, in on the ground, both in defense, you know, by blocking passes or tackling, he's at a good level. In his passing game, he's improving, 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 getting better. Um, so uh, yeah, I mean, it's really a defender with so much potential and was already at uh, an incredible high level. Um, so yeah, for me, there's not nothing but praise for him. And uh, if he, he keeps on like this, there's no reason uh, why he shouldn't start for Uruguay at the uh, twenty the twenty twenty two World Cup because he's that good. And for me, inexperience or experience, it's nice things to label people. You know, he's an experienced player, so he should playing because he's experienced. But experience doesn't mean a lot if 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 you doesn't if your qualities are not sufficient enough uh, to bring us uh, results. And Arajo is, although he's might be inexperienced, is a player who could walk into many teams in the world and and do a job and and be one of the standout players. So I think this is something you should look at, not his age or his amount of games, you know. Yeah, I think I think we have uh, watched enough to see that he's a great player, great young player. Was yeah, was was had a great season last season. Um, yeah, as far as Arafo is concerned, um, like I said, he's someone who 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 can step in, who can follow the footsteps of Godin. He's a, he's a different player, but I mean like Uruguay's defensive leader. Um, and I'm really excited to see what the future holds for him uh, because uh, he's a guy, besides being a really good defender, uh, who's developing really well, is also a likable guy, you know, a down-to-earth person um, who shows that football is not all about um, players who, who basically take it for granted and, and, and show it off. And, but he's someone who, when you follow, me, follow him and when you really interf read interviews of him, He's uh, yeah, really a, a downward guy who, who people like me and you can really relate to. Um, yeah, so for me, 
I'm really excited to see what next season has in store for him. I think he can improve. He should improve on next season again. And uh, and I think we have a player on our hands for the next 10, 15 years. Yeah. So let me know your opinion about Araujo. Uh, what do you think is his ceiling? Where do you see him in 10 years, in five years? Uh, would you start him at the World Cup in Qatar? And also let me know your opinion on the video. Uh, and let me know your opinion on who should be the next one, the next player in this uh, series. Uh, I already have someone in mind, uh, but I uh, like to hear what you think. So, yeah, let me know. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.